My name is Tom Valeka. I'm with AST Corporation. I am in the Salesforce practice as a senior director in the sales and pre-sales role. We've been asked many times by customers to run in a Salesforce assessment of their existing Salesforce org. And prior to Elements, we would have to run those reports or extract those reports directly from Salesforce and then take a look at them to compare and contrast and figure out what was going on within their orgs. We knew that our clients had a very long term and complex orgs that have been around for many, many years. We also knew that they had customized those orgs using a lot of the tools that they had available at the time. Since then, Salesforce has implemented and come out with a lot of out of the box standard best practice configurations that we wanted to definitely move to, but we needed to understand what those customizations were. Our most recent client had uh, recently purchased a company and the company did basically what their original company does and, and they inherited a Salesforce org along with purchasing this company and they wanted to understand, can we merge the two Salesforce orgs into one? Should we keep them separate? What should we do? And we really engaged them and started an assessment project with them that had three steps to it. Step one was we did an assessment of their first org, their main org, and we did it in three parts. One was a metadata analysis using elements as a tool to take a look at all of the objects, fields, profiles, sharing rules, all the business processes that they had already built in that Salesforce org. Metadata analysis was key to that, to understanding it. Number two was we did workshops with their users. One hour typically, ask them a day in the life, what they did, how they did it, and any impediments or things that they were missing, other systems, data, other processes that they would like to see automated. And we captured all of those by persona for the first org. And then the third part was gathering all the artifacts, architectural maps, business processes that were documented, things of that nature. Taking those three things, we then get a complete picture of their Salesforce org and what's going on in there today. We did that for the first org, then we did that for the company that they purchased org, using the same methodology, doing those three steps. And then the really the hard part about it was, and the third piece was comparing and contrasting those two assessments. And Elements was key to that because we were able to really take a look at things like tech debt, what objects, what fields hadn't been used in say over two years, what things could they get rid of, what things were legacy type processes and uh, you know customized features that they had done in the past that we, that we could get rid of. Our recommendation at the end of the day by taking a compare and contrast look at that was to take the org that they had purchased and merge it into their org and gain a lot of overlap and efficiencies of it but really at the end of the day what they wanted was they needed one source of truth and one set of data in order for them to make uh, data driven decisions going forward for their business we use the elements platform for our clients to figure out where we can automate and make them more efficient and productive elements will show us the truth of the metadata both in processes in users profiles security, things such as what fields and what objects are being used and not used, so it'll allow us to identify technical debt too. At the end of the day, Elements allows us to show our customers where we can automate, where we can improve efficiency, and basically increase productivity across their users.